So the world's oldest travel farm, Thomas Cook, has collapsed, leaving hundreds of thousands of holiday makers around the globe stranded and sparking the largest peacetime repatriation effort in British history. Peter Fankheiser, Thomas Cook's chief executive, who issued an apology, said the farm's collapse was, quote, matter of profound regret. The two operators' failure puts 22,000 jobs at risk worldwide, including 9,000 in the UK. The travel agency had secured a 900 million euro rescue deal led by its largest shareholder, Chinese Farm, in August. But a recent demand from its lending banks to raise a further 200 million euros in contingency funding put the deal in doubt. The holiday company spent all Sunday in talks with the lenders trying to secure the additional funding and salvage the deal, but to no avail. Official receiver was appointed in the early hours of this morning the 23rd of September to take control of Thomas Cook. Despite huge efforts over a number of months and further intense negotiations in recent days, we have not been able to secure a deal to save our business. I know that this outcome will be devastating to many people and will cause a lot of anxiety, stress and disruption.